Hello guys, welcome to Datafuse Analytics and also welcome to the second part of fake news detection problem solving. Before directly jumping into the actual Pythonic implementation, uh, we will see what all steps that we need to carry in order to solve this problem statement end to end. In the first step that is of the utmost important or the most important step in solving this problem is understanding the problem statement that we already saw in the previous video. That video covers why uh, why do we act why why actually this is a problem statement and why do we need to solve this problem statement. In this session, I will be explaining what all steps that we will be going through in order to solve this entire problem statement end to end. The first step in solving this problem is data collection or data acquisition step. In this step. We will be downloading the data from Kaggle website. The link I have already provided in the description box and you can also refer to that in the previous video. Then comes the step of EDA or we call it as exploratory data analysis. This EDA refers to uh, what I can say it refers to a critical process of performing initial investigations on data so as to discover patterns to spot anomalies or abnormalities in the data, to test our hypothesis and to check the assumptions with the help of summary statistics and graphical representations. So this step, in this step, we will thoroughly understand the data. We will thoroughly understand uh, whether the characters in the word are important or the numbers of number of characters in, in that news article is important or number of words in the news article is important uh, or how many, uh, what is the distribution of characters, what is the distribution of number of words with respect to zeros and ones. So here zero represents uh, reliable news and one represents unreliable or fake news. So in short, we will thoroughly understand our data before moving ahead. The next step is data pre-processing or we can say data cleaning. In this step, we will eliminate all the uh, textual data which might not be helpful in discriminating between fake news and the genuine news. So what all comes in this step is we can remove all the stop words, we can remove all the HTML or some uh, markup language text that can be that that is available in the data. We can eliminate all those words which we might not require in order to discriminate between fake news and real news. So we will be doing this in step by step in the next part of this video. Then comes the feature engineering part. So we all know that the data that we are dealing with is a textual based data or the problem that we are dealing with is a text classification problem. In order to deal with this problem, we need to convert that text into some representations that our machine can understand or our system can understand or the algorithm which we will be implementing can understand. So there will be various feature engineering techniques that we will be discussing uh, to convert the text into machine readable format or convert a text into a representation that the system can understand. Then after converting that data into some features or after converting the textual data into features, we will now be moving towards data splitting in train and test. In this step, we will bifurcate the data into training and testing. We will give some percentage of data for training. We will give, we will keep some percentage of data for testing. Normally we can, uh, we can keep for, let's say 70% for training, 30% for testing or 80, 20, 80% of the data for training and 20% of the data for testing. Uh, then with the help of the training data set or the training partition of the data set, we will be building a model. Now many of uh, the freshers as well as professionals, they get confused between the two terminologies of model and algorithm. So whenever uh, th there is a thin line between a model and an algorithm, algorithm is nothing but a sequence of steps which is followed to establish or to accomplish a particular task. Whereas what a model is, whenever you train an algorithm on a task specific data, 
that trained algorithm is now called as a model okay so this is the uh, a difference between a model and an algorithm then after we have built our own model the final step is evaluation with the help of uh, evaluation metrics like precision recall sensitivity specificity f1 score etc etc as well as accuracy so in this way we will try to attempt to implement each and every step in python to solve this problem of fake news detection thank you guys for watching this part let's meet in the next part